Depending on your perspective, I've been living with ovarian cancer since July of 2009. But technically, I've been living with ovarian cancer since my mom was diagnosed with it in January of 1976. And she died that following April. I was only 19 years old. My sister and brother and I, and of course my father, were just devastated. I've been married to my husband, Rick, uh, coming up on 30 years. We have been a part of each other's lives every single day, working, playing, having kids, raising kids. Uh, we work together at the Signature Room. Rick has been such a rock through all of the ups and downs, especially when I was diagnosed with my ovarian cancer. He never, ever let me think that there was any other option but to get through this. Angela, our daughter, she's been working with us at the Signature Room. It's just been so delightful to watch her grow in her maturity level and her responsibilities at the restaurant. We're just so proud of her. Our son Dominic really excelled and done very well at culinary school and is a new dad. He's created a wonderful situation for me and Rick to be grandparents. We couldn't be more delighted. We're so excited about it. When I was first diagnosed with my ovarian cancer, I had so many different thoughts go through my head. Because of my family history, I was staying on top of it. I guess I was kind of lulled into this sense of security because I was doing the right things. And as soon as I got the diagnosis, I thought, yep, I had the unexplained weight gain, the bloating, the fatigue. So then you go into this anger, not just at yourself, but at the world. I was just mostly angry uh, at myself and, and frustrated for not having paid better attention. And I knew the signs. they've come leaps and bounds in treatments. When I first started my chemotherapy treatments, uh, my doctors were just terrific in explaining all the possibilities. I was a little concerned about losing my hair. I was concerned about just being sick, physically sick from it. You know, I'm a strong woman. So I didn't want anybody to see me in a weakened state, but, but especially my kids. Life has definitely changed after this experience. I was first diagnosed. It changed because I wasn't able to go to work, because your immune system is suppressed. Not being able to go to family events. My treatment ended a year ago last January. It was this huge sense of relief, but then you had to think, okay, what do we do now? My family was always there for me. My God was always there for me. I was so grateful to have my faith. Being able to know that I can reach out to any one of my friends has always been a wonderful constant through this whole process, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. The folks through the Ovarian Cancer Symptom Awareness Organization have been just phenomenal supporters. Life is precious. Ovarian cancer is a silent killer. And we need to talk about it. Join us at ovariancancersymptomawareness.org.